Yes, I am wearing my pajamas. I just want to be comfortable. I just finished the end of the term, so I think I deserve to film a video in my pajamas because I made it through. And school's almost out and I'm so excited for summer. And where I live it's been so warm, but now it just decided to snow and I mean rain and I don't maybe it's snow eh, it snowed too, but it's all melted now. But I am I'm looking at my window by the way, that's why I keep looking this way. But I'm really angry because I want it to be summer. Anyways, now I'm ranting, so let's just film an intro. Hey there, you guys. So since it is the beginning of March, I thought it'd be fun to show you guys my beauty favorites for February and some of January because I didn't film one in February. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know that you enjoyed it. And maybe this will just become the first week of every month I make this video. I don't know. Pretty much everything I'm doing for favorites, it's just my beauty favorites because I, do, I use a lot of beauty products. So my very first hair beauty favorite is this Not Your Mother's Way to Grow Long and Strong Shampoo and Conditioner. When I was like 8, now I'm 13 just in case you're wondering, I had my hair like down my belly button and I went to this lady and I asked her for a trim. But apparently she thought I said chin and chopped my hair up to my chin. It was like the worst experience of my life and I've not been able to grow my hair back long forever because like I'll just trim it and I'll just go like and get shorter and shorter because the ladies at the haircut place never know that I want like nothing taken off. And so it's taken me forever to grow out my hair since I was eight years old. That's five years to get my hair to start trying to at least get it somewhat growing back and this shampoo and conditioner has saved my life. I love it so much and my hair has actually start to grow. I definitely recommend this not your mother's way to grow long and strong shampoo and conditioner. I also have another shampoo and conditioner for my hair beauty favorites and it is this tea tree treatment I like to call it. It's for when I feel like I need a little bit of a pick-me-up in my hair and I need it to not be so dry and gross and it always feels like it like stimulates my scalp if that makes sense. It's a cleanser shampoo and I have been doing a lot of swimming in gym. I've been swimming and so I need to get all that chlorine out of my hair so it doesn't turn green because that would not be fun. This is like a hair and scalp treatment but I use it on my ends because it's like a deep conditioner. <gasps> love shampoo and conditioner so much and also my favorite thing about this is you put it on and it feels all like tingly and cool and then you put your hair in the water and you come out and it's just like woo, cold air and it feels so good and invigorating and you just want to conquer the world yeah my next hair beauty favorite is this healthy sexy hair soy tri wheat leave-in conditioner I was gonna say that and you just spray this like that. Ooh, that was cool. You could see that. Ooh, get it in my hair. Get it in my hair particles. You basically just spray this healthy, sexy hair in your hair after it is damp. And you must want to focus it on your ends or else you'll wake up in the morning. You'll have really greasy root. Trust me, I've learned from experience. Moving on to my next beauty hair favorite is this nourishing coconut milk treatment. It's the anti-breakage serum mm -hmm. and I don't like my hair to break off so that it will grow. As you can see I'm doing all these things to get my hair to grow because it doesn't want to grow. You basically just put this in your ends after I put in the healthy sexy hair thingamajiggy spray whatever you want to call it. Put this also in my ends to help nourish and strengthen the ends of your hair and it smells like coconut and I Love the smell of coconut because I just want to go to Hawaii. I want to go to Hawaii so bad. It's not even funny. And I'm going to get acne because I keep, keep touching these products to my face. And they've been in all sorts of places. I absolutely love dry shampoo because I don't like to wash my hair every single day. Um, yes, I get in the shower every single day, but I do not wash my hair so that I don't have to, first of all, I don't have to style it as early in the morning so I can sleep in. And also because it's not healthy for your hair to wash it every single day. So I use this Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. I swear by this shampoo, it does not leave like that residue 
yuckiness or make your hair flaky. I know a lot of dry shampoos that like flake and it makes it you look like you have dandruff and this just really helps with that. It doesn't do that and makes your hair super voluminous and fine. My next two favorite hair beauty products are these two bad boys. This is the L'Oreal Paris Blow Dry Smooth Smooth blah, 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 blah. Blow Dry It Thermal Smoother Cream. And this one is the L'Oreal Paris Boosted Blowout Heat Spray for any time you're using heat on your hair. So my favorite thing about this L'Oreal Blow Dry It Thermal Smoother Cream is my hair gets so frizzy when I blow dry it. And so this has helped because it makes it not frizzy and still gives me like a more sleek look. And then this one, since I do, after that I use that, I straighten my hair and I straighten my hair basically every single day, even if I haven't showered it that morning, I will still use this heat spray because it will protect you from those dead ends that you do not want. So for my makeup beauty favorites of February, the first thing I have is this Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the color 115. At first when I tried this, I was like, it is like so liquidy, doesn't stick on my face, it's just like you take your hand and you wipe and it's just like on your fingers. But that was because I was not applying it right. And so that leads me into my very next beauty favorite. That is my beauty blender. This is a knockoff beauty blender because uh, no way I was going to spend no $20 on a sponge. So this is just like the Ulta brand. And so I just take my foundation and I put it on here and I put it on my palette like I'm an artist. So after I do that, I take this next favorite, which is my Maybelline Fit Me powder. It's like a setting powder and it's in the color 210. I know they're not the same color but it's because I bought them at separate times and I really really love this. I put that all over my face to set it where it needs to stay. My next favorite is this Maybelline Fit Me blush. This is in the color light pink so very basic. Another thing that I've really loved using, I've had this for like a year and a half. I probably should get a new one but it's lasted me for a long time, is this L'Oreal Magic Anti, 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 whatever you want to say, redness, and it's green, but you put it on where your zitties are, so right now, if you can't tell, I have a really fancy one just hanging out in between my eyebrows, so I would just take a little bit of this and put it on and tap it on there, and it gets rid of the redness. So, for my eyes, I've really loved using this is by L'Oreal, it's the voluminous false fiber lashes out. I, I think you can just see the camera in there because it's gold. You curl your lashes then you put this on right after and it makes your eyelashes look longer. And then I have really loved using also for my acne this clear skin clear emergency um, thing by Avon. So I am a picker so I will pop my zits right when I see something surfacing. I will just constantly be picking at it. And right after I pick it instead of having an open pore I put this clear emergency in it and it pretty much gets it to go away and then I just like have a scar and a scab there for a while. But for the most part, it gets it to go away. I have really been loving for my lips this C.O. Big Low Rose Salve. This is from Bath and Body Works, and I got this. I've really been wanting one because my friend has one, and I got it at a birthday party. That is what I do pretty much for my makeup, but those are all my beauty favorites. And basically everything I showed you for my hair, I use on a daily basis because they are my favorites. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope I may have helped you find some of your new beauty favorites and you can try all these things out. So if you guys did enjoy this video, like I said in the intro, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up or leave a comment down below telling me that you enjoyed it so that I will know that you like favorites videos. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you all next Tuesday. Bye bye! So, if you guys enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. A thumb? I swear I said that weird. Trust me, I've learned. I'm holding it backwards. Oh my gosh, I am leaving so many things out. I'm starting over Sydney, so when you're editing, no, to cut right here and go to, to where you need to be. So, uh, I keep saying so. Does that get annoying? And, and it's not focusing, so I'm going to hide my face and see if it'll focus. Ew, this is still wet from the shower. Um, way to grow long and strong.
Mm, I know how to make your hair healthy and sexy. Okay? Okay. Can't think of what I'm going to say. And put these this in my Okay. Stop moving around. When your hair is damp, great. And it looks like you have dandruff. Dandruff? Life is hard. <sighs> okay. My next. I keep saying my next, my next, my next. Thank you guys. Why don't I just do this? This is not the intro. Snap!